War Diary Day 531 of Russia's war against Ukraine. So, uh, <laughs> here I am with Vadim Denko. Remember, he was the Ukrainian soldier who arrested me on day two of the big war because I was a Russian spy. Do I look like a Russian spy? I was. Fuck off. Uh, anyway, uh, here we are. How is the war going now? Uh, complicated. I mean, like, not complicated from a uh, side that we are doing something wrong, but complicated we don't have so much instruments and uh, a lot of people dying, unfortunately. I just come back uh, maybe a week uh, ago from a front line and uh, there is a one source I really believe is a uh, Institute of History of War you can read them and uh, what the conclusion are they said that ukraine doing much better than was expected due to instruments that they have by the way uh Vlad, you were injured uh, the other day um um my what happened and my girlfriend doesn't know about that okay uh Vlad wasn't injured the other day he's fine um <laughs> so he's actually completely fine um but we have to say to the West, to Britain, to America, to Europe, for fuck's sake, pull your finger out, help our Ukrainian friends, because we're being too slow. Please understand, if Russia beats Ukraine, then we're next. This isn't Ukraine's war, it's our war. Please get that. Now. We have a simple message to Vladimir Putin and it goes like this. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.